Yeah, fuck boners. <laughs> so, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to our show. Here, I'm just gonna. He took a shot by himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> so let's see. A, what a bad start. No, we'll a, start where we want to start. A days ago, we watched the whale. Yeah, we watched the whale finally. Finally. So we're gonna grace you all with a full review of all of Darren Aronofsky's movies. And a review of you the say whale. that na- that name. I feel like I say it weird every time. You say it no. Aronofsky. What? Aronofsky. Perfect. <laughs> Superb. Um, so I was pulling. Up, I'm going to pull up all all of his movies so we can kind of fluidly fluidly go through it. The Whale, sixty five percent critics, ninety one percent audience. That's a little crazy, right? I feel like in my brain it's topsy turny. Like, that's a like, little crazy. I'm on right? the sixty percent side. Yeah, that's a little crazy. What audience members are that? What? This seems like a movie audiences would it's hate. It's probably the same people watching She-Hulk <laughs> and some shit. For real though, that's like weird though. That's you, like you. That's a weird number, right? It is. That's a weird number for that many people. Here's the thing: the, the whale. It was really uh, good. That's weird. Did it make me cry? No. Would I say really good? I wouldn't. No. I'd say good. You put it perfectly. It I was basically good. the wrestler all over again. Yeah, but not as good. Instead of a wrestler, an obese man. It was the same story. Just not as good. Because it was the whole and same. And not as good. It was the exact same thing, reconnecting with his daughter. Yep. And him, well, in the wrestler, in the wrestler, he's, it's like a, uh, what's the fucking word? Don't hurt yourself. Huh? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I'm not a wizard. I'm not going to fucking blow my head off. No, oh, it's just I'm not a wizard. I'm not gonna kill myself. I'm not gonna like fucking loser <laughs> wizards. <laughs> loser wizards. <laughs> oh shit! No, man. What I'm trying to get at <laughs> is that the whale was good. It was good. Brendan good. Fraser killed it. Brendan Fraser was fantastic. He's the only reason to watch that movie. He is, in my opinion. But oh yeah, we talked about it. The whole. <sighs> gay premise probably wasn't the original story probably not and we was, never took the time to look into we it didn't, we didn't look into play. it but judging by Netflix and Disney we're assuming that they went PC and made him gay right? probably safe bet because everyone's doing it to, to save face it would have had the same impact to me if they made him straight and he just yeah, okay. hated his life and cheated on his wife or what you know what I mean? But the fact that nowadays, twenty twenty three, everyone and their fucking dog. I did like how it tied him. back into the lady that was taking care of him, you finally find out it was his her brother. Oh yeah, that made sense. But we were here we're here to talk about Darren. Not the main well We're here to bo- talk about Darren specifically. Darren. Okay, so not just the web. Okay, so I'm going to start this thing. Scroll back to the end. I'm going to start this thing with saying, I feel like he is one of, if not the most overrated directors in all of Hollywood. You think he's overrated? By far. Why? Because people act like he's like God's gift to the earth. And are we talking about Nolan right now? Are we talking Tarantino? Like, Spielberg. Um, no, I'm ass. not talking about any of those guys. No, because I'm just those, saying those, those guys, guys are God's gift to the earth when it comes to filmmaking. Darren. I feel like he's underrated. What are you talking about? People hold him to like up here. They don't. And he's made. He's always been a shadow warrior. He's always made. He's a shadow warrior. He's always made like decent to bad movies in my opinion. He's, he's, I've never seen anything that's just like holy shit. This is like new. I will give it. People love Requiem for a Dream. I do. People call that like one of their favorite movies, and it's like groundbreaking. I maybe, maybe I watched it too young because I watched it. I did, and I hated it with the first time I watched when it. When I was in high school, and then I, I grew up every day for two. That's months. why you are the way you are because it's not very good. 
Just kidding. No. You got a point. <laughs> That's I, I I watched it maybe too young because the first time I watched it, I hated it. I was like, this is I don't get this. The music was well, cool, but I didn't get it. But then I, I I've grown up. I watched it. I own it on DVD and Blu-ray. Last, when's the last time you watched it? Probably ten years ago. For fuck's sake. I bought. I'm, I'm 33, so I wasn't a kid when I was. I was 23. I'm 32. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm now. just saying. No, I'm just saying. I bought it. I 4K don't. Two I don't years ago. get the weird boner for that movie specifically, and then him generally. That movie. Some of the cinematography I get. People say it's groundbreaking and it, cool. Which, it was. Which is great. It was. Cool. It's cool. Like whatever. Mm-hmm. It's been done way better since then. So it was like cool. You were groundbreaking then, but like right. I don't know. And so, name and masterpiece from him. We were just talking about it. Requiem for a Dream? <laughs> yeah. Name another one. Wrestler. You think that's a masterpiece? No, for real. I'm being dead ass right now. I'm not okay. talking about cars okay, okay. right now. To my I'm not preference. talking about cars right now. <laughs> we're, talking, we're not talking about robots and fucking dinosaur rigs. <laughs> no, for real, though. We're talking Do you really think wrestler is like a masterpiece, in your opinion? Compared to his newer things, yes. Not comparatively. I'm saying I never. You saw can't. Pi- you can't compare. I never saw Pi. I'm saying you is it regardless of anything else he's made. Is that a masterpiece to you? I think it's a really good movie. Ish. What do you feel is his masterpiece? None of them. I don't think he's ever made a masterpiece. That's what I'm What's saying. What's his best movie? His best movie. Black Swan. Probably Black Swan. That's probably so his, maybe. His best. Black Swan might be a masterpiece. That's I'll give you that. I forgot about Black Swan. Amazing movie. I, I that's a I really, really, really good it. movie. It's fucked up. It's sad. Black Swan and it's honestly challenging. Which is funny is like one of his most hated movies, The Fountain, I think is one of his by far best movies. Well here's the thing. I've never seen Pi and I do not remember the Fountain. So I watched Pi once, didn't didn't care. I, I don't never know. saw it. I don't know. I people like that one, I didn't care. So, I mean, let's dig through it. So, Pi is first, right? And then it's Requiem right after. I love Requiem. So, I watch it every day. Like so, Pi, we have no school. real opinion on it. Requiem, I already said what I feel. I, but Jared, Marlon, Jennifer, they fucking killed it. The chick from The Exorcist, they killed it. Acting is good, yeah. Well, here's the thing about Darren. He He's a metaphor or storyteller. Right? To a fault, though. To a fault. To especially a fault, when especially no, when you get to Mother. No, the, Noah and then Mother. He no, it wasn't. No, mother is where it was just like, we get it. I feel like no, we get it. I, yeah, m- mother was up his ass. Like, mother was so. Mother was probably like it should have been called up my ass. Up my like ass for movie. real though. Like, I watched that movie. A lot of people liked it. A lot I of people liked didn't. It. I saw it one time. I theaters. watched it and it's like, I was entertained. And it was chaos. But. But it was like, but by the end, it was the, like, like the metaphors he was trying to say. It's just like that's not a metaphor. When you straight up say what the metaphor is, it's not a metaphor anymore. You straight up told me what it is. That's not a right, metaphor. Right, a right. metaphor is right. a metaphor. You're saying I'm Mother Earth. Do you get it? <laughs> yeah, you just fucking told you me. You watch? literally told me this is uh this is um um adam eve do you get it exactly yep i get it because you just fucking said it that's not a metaphor he was, but he's like do you get the metaphors though that's not how it works darren i know darren i know but darren yeah, but before that he didn't know that's it. why fountain works <clears throat> because that one is <clears throat> just get me worked up <laughs> <laughs> that's that why, was unscripted <laughs> that was that's why <laughs> That's why I think the fountains might. The phlegm is building up in Clem. That's why I feel like the the fountains probably my favorite movie by him because really? it was number one. Maybe probably Black Swan's Black my number one. Black Swan, but and like then Requiem and then Noah. But um, but uh, the fountain is the one I've gone back to the most. Hugh the Jackman, one, the one that had the most impact on me because it. That's your Jackman, right? Yes, um, because it just it really um, it's it's his only. Besides, besides Black Swan, like that really gave me like a, a, an emotional feeling to it, but it's like his most absurd movie, right? Because of like studio interference and stuff like that, I feel like it was almost just like it forced him to be like, oh shit, I really do have to like make people think about this when I can't just and, be like, and the story, I can't just say, hey, it's about it's about the fountain of youth, 
Do you get it? Do you get my <laughs> metaphor here? That's not a metaphor. Do you understand? <laughs> but he was like, it was like so abstract and crazy. It was just like, okay, you really do have to think about that Do you want to know one. which movie did it better? What? What Dreams May Come. You ever seen that with Robin yeah. Williams? Uh-huh. That movie did The Fountain better. Mm, well, I really like The Fountain. No, me I'll too. I'll stand by that Me one. too. But What Dreams May Come was very fucking <laughs> sad. And the was, fountain's very sad. If you watch, you don't remember the fountain. The fountain's sad. The fountain's way sad. Ever, I remember being sad. Because Rachel Wise is sick super, and super dying. Hot. Super hot. She's sick person. and dying, and and, super and Jack, he, Jack man, is trying to figure out how to like save her, and like it keeps like going like into like yeah, 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 of course these things, and he's just trying to save her and blah blah mm-hmm. blah. It's good. It's good. I make all my girlfriends watch it, and they'd be like, "All right, wow, thanks for fucking me, making me watch the fountain." You know what's bonkers? One was better than the other. I'm not going to tell you which one. Here's the thing. <laughs> the sex or the fountain. <laughs> People hated the fountain when it came out. People still hate it. It's they like, got like fucking terrible reviews. It. Let's look. I'm going to look right now. Yeah, he's going to look. No, everyone hated the fountain. Like It was too weird. That's the thing. Parents. That's Everyone's his like, um, his bullshit. lowest rated on um, by critics, but it's 74 crit- uh, people, human people. Real humans, human people. humans want to feel something. In anyway, so we're going crazy on this shit. Pie, <laughs> never seen no that. opinion. I have Requiem right. for a Dream, amazing. You like it? I I like it. I just I don't get it. I don't get the have hype. You, when's the last time you watched it? Didn't we already talk about that? I bought it on 4K a year and a half ago. Here's the thing: the reason why I adore I will use that word adore mm-hmm. Requiem is the repercussions of addiction and drugs, right? His mom's fucked up on pills. They're fucked up on heroin. As we're drunk right now. On heroin. I don't want to be told what to do. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> just going to... We're going to fucking nail no, it. No, no, I'm just kidding. No, it it's is... sad. It is it's, sad, it's, yeah. It, the addiction... The metaphor for Requiem is addiction. And mm-hmm. it fucking ruins your life, right? Maybe it's the fact that like that movie is like not enjoyable to watch. And it's... Maybe that's it. That, but but me, that's the thing I like... I love it. Like, as a... Here's the thing. I watched it like the same time I watched um, <clears throat> South Park, bigger on longer, no. uncut or some shit. About the same time I watched Train Spotting, both about addiction, both but like Train Spotting did it in a comedic way. Requiem is not fucking funny at all. I don't even think you can. Train Spotting has a dead baby in it, but and then the friend. <clears throat> That's what I'm that saying. That movie still makes you laugh. It got the same point across with comedy. In a weird way. doesn't matter how it got it across. I'm saying, in general, it was the same concept to pull across in mm-hmm. different ways, and one did it a lot better. As a young kid, I was way too young to be watching these movies. Way too fucking young. I don't even remember. I don't 12 remember or 13, maybe 14. Dude, I was like... Awful. Straight out of the womb watching <clears throat> Basic Instinct. People are like, all of our fans are going to do the math of how old I am now and be like, that movie wasn't even out. These are three, I'm 32. <laughs> Sorry. 14 or I think I'll be with the one you're not. It wasn't even out then. <laughs> well, by the way, by the way. Uh... No, I watched it young. I watched it too young. But I'm saying, like, I watched that and Train Spotting. Okay. Well, probably the same year. And, like, I just. I Train Spotting is amazing. <clears throat> one of my favorite movies. I never saw two, but the first one's amazing. You know this. We've talked about it. Don't lose your shit. I've never seen two. I love coming soon. Come. Train spotting two review for real though. Fuck, I'm down. Are you shitting me because what's his I name? love Danny it. Boyle. Loved I love it. that shit. Okay, loved it. Anyway, coming. This soon. is the Aronofsky no for real episode. No, we, we're Boyle. gonna watch that, and we'll do Danny Boyle when we do it too. I'm down. Super down. Touch my finger with what? Okay, my pee pee pee, <laughs> my little pee pee. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> um. Anyway, well, let's skip ahead. Well, let's Mickey finish, finish what we're saying. Oh, Mickey we're not, we weren't done with Requiem, really, though. So I was too young to watch it. I will spend. Maybe I didn't get it. Oh wait, I watched hours. it when I, I watched it when I got older, and I still didn't really get it though. My mom is what I'm saying. And her ex-husband and my siblings. I watched. I'm not. This is not a mm-hmm. fucking joke for the show. I watched. I would get out of fucking Mountain View High School, Orem, and I watched Requiem for. You're not supposed to know where every. You live. Oh yeah, Orem, every day. Orem, Nebraska, every fucking day. That's a problem. I think my brother liked it a lot, and he became a drug addict and went to rehab, and he has a bitch wife now and hates everyone. 
I'm your brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Is that you? <laughs> are we reconciling right oh, now? Oh, he liked it more than me, and he was, no, a, I he just, was, he was I a love, mess. I love tragedy. That's what Shakespeare I was too. built I just, upon, man. Tragedy. No, I do too. I just... And it's nah. so sad, and the, the the soundtrack, and Marlon, Marlon being the fucking, the Waynes, mm. he fucking killed it. Everyone talks shit on, uh, what the fuck, Jared Leto nowadays. Mm-hmm. He's been a good actor still. He's he, always been good. He's still a good actor. He but just, he's up he's his own ass. He's weirdo, trying too though. hard to be a weirdo. I will say, we'll end Requiem on this note. Yes. No I'll never right. forget the time in when um, Marlon's in the 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 gel it's like mushing the and it's like the goo <laughs> like it's just made <laughs> the, the, the as mush. a kid i was like what is that is that con is it my is that con? is, it con? is that right. why my is that why can my, you hear me can that, you see me for work is that okay why, good is that why my bishop says i shouldn't masturbate because <laughs> <laughs> the whiteys do it better because <laughs> the top person might we're so good at it you'll get addicted stick. Anyway, from there it goes to the fountain. We kind of already talked about that. Fountain. Then wrestler. Mickey Rourke. Overhyped. Fucking, no. Under overhyped. Hyped. Under. But, I say under because to this day, fucking over a decade later, no one talks about the wrestler. No one's seen it. No one has seen sexy ass Marissa Tomei doing that shit as a stripper. No one has seen the wrestler. That's why it just says overhyped. Because when it came out. Under hype. The year it came out, people wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. I like it. I just again, uh, this is my problem with this man. Do you remember Ascension? I man? like his movies. <laughs> he did the Katy Perry. Oh wait, a s- single man or a simple man? A simple man. The the Cohen brothers. Yeah. That was the same love fucking love that movie. Yeah, that's a great movie. I'm just saying it came way out. better than the wrestler. <sighs> I'm gonna say it right You're now. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. When's the fucking McDonald's gonna get here? This is probably already here. The dogs are barking and stuff. My dogs. We gotta wrap this up. My we dogs got, are barking. We got a good thirty minutes. <laughs> Just kidding, but <laughs> so ultimately, the wrestler Mickey Rourke. Though, let's talk about Mickey. He was great in it. That's the thing. Cool. Aronofsky used to do. He did it for Requiem, Wrestler, and Black Swan. The over the shoulder, like it was a strap on camera over the shoulder and they would walk he doesn't do that anymore the strap on that was so fucking cool strap, strap ons are pretty cool <laughs> you i don't Here, know i think this is my problem with this man what's your problem with it? darren Aronofsky? he's not a very good director don't don't reply <sighs> you're killing but me. he gets he gets really good performances out of his actors just like the wrestler the Wrestler's a fine movie. It's a great fucking movie. You know movie. Wh- why is it great? It's a metaphor. No, why is it great? I'm trying to Because explain. of fucking Mickey Rourke. Because he's a fucking awesome Because he actor. does really good. Yes. But the movie's not that great. It's like nothing. It's, it's a like metaf- a It's like a nothing movie, but then Mickey Rourke is amazing in it. If yeah. you had a bad actor I or a mid actor in it, but like, it would, no one would ever talk about it. That would be a low budget, bullshit ass movie. Right. But no one would ever talk about it. Right. But Mickey Rourke was a... But no one talks about it even still. They did for then. But like I'm saying. <laughs> they did it. Yeah, they did. It was no. nominated for so much shit. So much. That's for what I'm saying. It's 37 days people talked about that. That's movie. what I'm saying is. Mickey, I got you, man. I love Mickey Rourke. What I'm saying Says is, he. is it was Mickey Rourke's first big role in many, many years. And he was really good in it. After Expendables. The first one. Again, make your first good role for a long time. He was really good in it, but I'm just saying, like, and he was really good in it, elevated it, and so people were talking about it. But it was like self pride. It was like but, ego. It was like the metaphor of like that that fire inside, you know, that we all have. Like mm-hmm. I, I could have done, I should have done. Like, but there's that's so the ma- metaphor. But of there's the wrestler. but there's so many low budget movies that do the same thing that no one gives a fuck about. Like what? Fucking surfs up? I don't what know. What are we talking about? I don't know what because no one talks about him. I'm just saying. It's like the only but reason we, people. But the only reason we talk about the wrestler is because Mickey Rourke was really good in it. And Marissa so Tomei is super hot. Right back to the goddamn fucking whale. It's like that movie is not very good. But you know what? Why why are people talking about it? Brendan Fraser was Because Brendan Fraser is great. And he hasn't been in movies for years. It's the exact same thing. He's like, he's. he's and again, back to what you said. It was basically the same storyline, but exactly. with the wrestler and a fat fuck. Yeah. Or, or a beast guy. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's like, I just don't think Darren Aronofsky is very good. I and think he's losing his way. 
I but he's think out. No we just barely went way. through. How many movies did we just go through? And like most of them weren't good. To you? To, 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 to me, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I no uh, of all in my opinion. Okay, to Black Swan. Black Swan's great. Black Swan is no arguments there. Masterpiece to me. It's so dark. It's so fucked up. It's so yeah. bizarre. It's so weird and strange and sexual and violent. It's everything mm-hmm. you want as a moviegoer. But to me, as an oh, Aronofsky yeah. fan. Right, lesbies. Nat, I love that shit. Natty and uh, blah, 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 blah. even though it doesn't happen, it's just their own sexual fantasy. I don't care if it didn't happen. It showed. So we saw they it. They recorded it. We synced it. I synced what happened in them panty juice. Here's the thing, Noah. Those juicy panties. Oh, so, you're going right to Noah. So other than Pie and Fountain, because I don't, I never saw Pie and Fountain. I don't remember the very. You want well. to go watch Fountain right now? Fountain come, <laughs> Fountain come, show um, me up. No. No okay, one. so with nothing about Black Swan. We just love it. No, Black Swan's... I watched it like a movie. I'm good with that review of and that. And it's great. Black Swan, 10 out of 10. I remember seeing it in theaters. I was like, that was awesome. Saw it when I got home. Like, when it came out on, on, yep. on Blu-ray, I watched it. I was like, yep, really great. It's so. still to this day. A month ago, I watched it. A month ago. For no reason. I just was like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm fucking watching... I'm taking gummies, and I want to watch some shit on it. There so, you go. Uh, TC fellas. It's nice, and ladies, so... But to me, I was like, "Damn, this is storytelling. It's good. This is a mind exactly, warp. Exactly, exactly. That's this is a fucking mind warp of a movie. Yeah, and that was like one of the only times he's told like a good story. No, Requiem. We were <laughs> we no, were right. yeah, Then Noah was his shot at big stuff, and didn't it didn't work? It. I like that one though. Why do you like the shit? And why do you hate the sh- the nice shit? Um, Do you own a fucking pawn shop? Like, what's going on? Noah's not that great of a movie. No, it's not. It's a good movie. But it's Russell just... Russell Crowe kills it, and Emma Watson kills it, and everyone kills it's it. It's more... It's not... It's just more just interesting. It's like, what? It was out of his realm. It's the only movie he's done that was out of his... Big budget, Metaphorically, yeah. and it was big budget. But it was out of his metaphorical bullshit like i was like i was saying it just it was interesting though i own the movie I it was like way it. interesting it was like I, weird. It. I like it i know i do too i'm just saying it's just like it's just interesting but that's why i like that one because there, there was more there was there was more to that it was more interesting and just like hmm. the stone S- creatures and swing all the shit that's in the bible that was like a down it was a big swing and it wasn't quite a miss it was just a big swing and like all of his other ones are just like eh. There's two directors that are like in my brain comparatively non brothers but Hollywood brothers. You wanna guess who they are? What the fuck? I know here I, I don't even know what you're I did I didn't hear a word you just said about this. They heard. It's Danny Boyle. Okay. And Darren Aronofsky. No, Danny Boyle is way past that motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Danny Boyle is they way past that. They remind me of them. each other. But no, Danny is no, better. no, no, no. Danny, be- Danny's I better. Can, I can list off fucking. I know you can. But I'm masterpieces. Just, tell me I'm wrong. Masterpieces by this Would man. you disagree that Darren is great value, Danny Boyle? He's the Walmart version of Danny Boyle. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you agree. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't make. Danny Boyle is. Damn, he's past Target. He's past the Target version. You think so? Danny Boyle is amazing. Danny Boyle has so many masterpieces. Darren is too. Danny Boyle's like worst movies are pretty much Darren Aronofsky's like regular movies. <laughs> Achievements. Regu- achieve yeah. <laughs> like his my worst, worst movies film is your Danny best. Boyle's worst movies are pretty much like on the level of Darren's What's the last thing that movies. Danny did? I don't know. I just think it's good. Shit, when I look. I can think of uh, the uh, you got Noah Mother and uh, no, no, and the Well Left. Just so I'm I'm getting off this page just real quick. Oh, okay, yeah, the Well wanna... was a really good movie. The redheaded chick from Stranger Things. We can still talk. Show. No, we're not done talking about. It. I'm just like hurrying, oh, changing okay. my page here. Danny so because we never talked about the mo- t- we never talked about Mother <laughs> or the Mummy Three or the Mummy Three. God damn, <laughs> we fucked that movie. I would rather watch the Mummy Three than any Darren Aronofsky movie. <laughs> Any? <laughs> Do you want a fist fight? <laughs> I literally Jesus probably Christ. would. And that movie sucks. Dude, I watched probably two thirds of The Mummy Returns two nights ago with my child and my mom. I was like, good for fucking Brendan. Good for Rachel. Like, 
more sexy people and some kind of really shitty old CGI. It's like, this is fucking fun. The Mummy 3? No, the Mummy 2. Mummy Returns. Oh, the Mummy Returns is fucking the one awesome. No, oh, yeah, 1 and 2. The other day. Fucking the other phenomenal. day. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Next other time. Day. Next time. I want to wrap this up. One and um, two. Phenomenal. Okay. <laughs> Mother. You like it, right? I saw it once in theaters opening Only once. day. And I loved it. It was an God damn the movie. It. But then Gemstones did it better. I hate that movie. Or uh, Uncut Gems did it better. I fucking hate that movie. Did you give your copy to Brian? Someone gave Brian a copy of... That's Mother. mine, yeah. Oh, it was you? Yeah. And I don't... Probably to this day, fucking seven years later, you've never watched it. Though. I watched it twice. I watched it twice. I gave it a chance. Bardem was good. And the acting was good. Jennifer Lawrence is fucking The anxiety lame. was fucking insane. I... <sighs> there was... Here's the thing. Okay, I'm... J- I, I'm was being for, dramatic. It was I up didn't, for Razzies. I didn't hate it. I just... Somewhat hate it. Again, back to the metaphor thing. It's just like, he thought he was so clever, and it was the most... Up his ass. On the did. nose, up your ass shit Kinda ever. Kind of like Tenet like, was for Nolan. No. Yes. No. Tenet is awesome. It is awesome, but it's the most up his ass movie he's done. We talked about this. Watch our Tenet episode. I think we said that before it even came out. <laughs> we filmed Tenet before it came out. <laughs> I, um, we made, t- okay, I'm going to stand behind this. We did. Our Tenet thing our skit came out a year before that fucking movie came out and it was what the movie was it was the same fucking it was shit. literally what the movie was we fucking killed it and no one fucking cares because fuck everybody and fuck you no know. for real though it was literally what that movie was it was it was back like people probably if time. people see it now like whoa copycats like you you saw tenant that's funny it's like no. no we made that a year before it came out you motherfuckers so you 40 people watching our shit <laughs> Year. Watch what we did a year before the movie came out. Stop watching is what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop watching us. We need you. And we need us. We need you. We need God. So much ad revenue. Psych. <laughs> and we need Wendy's at fucking 11 o'clock at night. Um, no, but for real. Mother, I, I saw it <sighs> one time. I remember being enthralled. I was like getting anxious. I remember feeling that way. Even though I've only seen it one time. My... You need to watch it again, I think, is the problem. Because the first time I watched it, I was just like, uh, okay. Well, I, I never watched it. And then Red after it got over, like, it got over, and I was just like, I, know I don't know about ass. that. And then um, then I watched it again, and it's just like, knowing what yeah, it yeah, is, yeah. I was of just course. like, wow. I was like, bro, wow. Too like, much up his ass? So much up his ass. It's like, and again, like, we were talking about metaphors. this is like Like, we were talking about metaphors and stuff. It's like, it's, literally, it's just like the metaphors are just like, Mother Earth protects her children. It's just like God and creation. It's like, oh my God! Like, and there's always hard. We get it. It's just like, oh, temptation. It's like, oh my God! Like, dude, stop it. This is so cringy. (laughs) Knock it. It's so like what he does is cringy. You think it's cringy? I thought it was cringy. That's me personally. I thought what he was doing was cringy. You think was it shot well? Was there good acting? Was cringe. Was it shot well? Yes. Did it look good? Yes. Was the, the first acting, time you saw her? Was boobs? the acting good? Yes. Was like what he was doing in the story, like what he wrote, cringy? Yes. Uncut is that something? Gems, is that like is, is that as cringy as like my cars theory? Yes. 